We have been using the same web browsers for too long, far too long. And you probably don't even know what an innovative web browser would even look like. Well, I thought the same exact thing, but Arc kindly reminded me no. Arc slapped me in the face with a dose of reality, and I can proudly say I am never going to go back to Chrome or Safari ever again. And you will probably feel the same way after this series, where I'm going to show you right now what it is like in the day of an Arc user, and I'm going to teach you how to master Arc in the following videos and probably redefine the way you interact and feel about the internet. Bold statement, I know. But if you're like me, you want to get to the point. So here are the main benefits of using Arc. Number one, better tab management. Number two, data privacy. Number three, faster navigation. Number four, better customization. Number five, community. Yes, a community. And this company treats their users with respect, which I love. Now for the demo. Close your eyes. Hypothetical situation. It's the morning. You're about to get to work. You got your coffee. You're feeling motivated. You're on your way to the laptop. You open it up and boom, you're hit with last night's tabs. You know it was a good night when it's Netflix. I do need to get out more, don't I? Now, normally, what would we do? We would close our fun tabs and think, all right, I have to get to work. What do I have to get done? And then open those tabs accordingly. But with Arc, it's a little bit different. And all I have to do is go down here and click work. As you can see, the fun tabs are gone and the work tabs are available. These different groups of tabs are called spaces and they're one of the core features of Arc. But more on that later. Now, if you're anything like me, working in silence makes you slightly depressed. So we're going to play some background music. Let's go on over to YouTube right here. And luckily I have a funky house mix queued up. We're going to play that. And then let's head to my company's website. And ooh, look what we have here. There's a movable picture in a picture of the video or media that you're playing. You can leave this on if you want, pause it, fast forward it, resize it, move it around, etc. I'm going to go ahead and minimize it. And a nice little player pops down here so that we can quickly pause it whenever we want. And that is not the only thing we have quick access to. Naturally, since we're starting work, we're going to want to check two things, our email and our calendar. Hover over the Gmail tab and we'll see our most recent unread emails. We can also check what meetings I have coming up by hovering over the calendar tab. Nothing on the agenda quite yet, so we can actually get some real work done. Thank God. Let's open a new tab by hitting Command T and going to my favorite service for productivity. And you know, now that I think about it, I have been using this service an awful lot and I probably want to pin it up here. You see these tabs are temporary. These ones are more permanent. We'll get into that later. Don't you worry. But I want to put this up here. We could drag and drop it easy enough, but I am in fact a sucker for keyboard shortcuts. So I hit Command T again. And luckily this is not just a URL bar. In fact, we can actually type actions in here as well as URLs. So what do I want to do? I want to pin to this is the work space. So it's right here. Boom. And I can easily use the keyboard shortcut. Luckily, it tells me I'm going to go ahead and click this and boom, it does the action for me. Now that I know the shortcut, if I have a meeting with my boss, I can go ahead and remove it from the permanent area and put it in the temporary area. Phew. Thanks, Arc. Now that I'm all set up, I can hit Command S to remove the bar and I have the full screen to work with. And this is the end of the demo. But just so you know, Arc has a ton of other features, including split views, a screen capture tool, which lets you take snapshots of live parts of websites and put them into what are called easels, which are basically these like collage boards of the internet that you can fill with different things. Like if you want to aggregate a bunch of news sources or create a mood board for a new kitchen you're working on, you can do that with easels. You have this thing called Boosts which lets you customize how websites look and then you can share those customizations with other Arc users. There's a ton of ease of life features like searching a specific website straight from the command bar, switching tabs very quickly, quickly copying the URL of the website you are currently on. I actually use this a ton for sharing. I could go on and on, but you get the point. And also there are these things called profiles which let you have completely separate accounts for Arc with different histories, cookies, everything. And of course, there's the mobile app which syncs to everything and lets you Arc on the go. I don't know if arc is a verb yet, but it will be eventually. And I know, I know, I know, I know this might feel like a lot. It might feel very foreign and different, but I would say that this is different in a good way, in a way that once you learn it after like an hour or two of practicing is actually very intuitive and makes a lot of sense. And hopefully I've convinced you to at least give Arc a try. It's completely free and transferring from Chrome or Safari is just a couple of clicks away. Head on over to arc.com or click the link in the description, download it, play around, and I'll see you in the next video where we will start from the ground up and we will be well on our way to becoming a master with this new revolutionary web browser. See you there. Peace.